Good day. Our demonstration this time would focus on the so-called piezoelectric effect. Basically, this is a ceramic transducer that converts sound waves into small voltages. On the other way around, if you apply values of voltages on this device, it would generate sound. There are two applications for this. The so-called direct piezoelectric effect and the inverse piezoelectric effect. That is, in direct piezoelectric effect, if you apply pressure on the device, it would generate voltage. On the other hand, the inverse piezoelectric effect, if you apply power to this device, it would generate sound waves. First, I would like to remove the transcript of the ceramic transducers and we will go to the different examples that I have with me. There you are, it's an example of the different ceramic transducers. Here we have sounders, beepers, we have here microphone elements. A bare example of ceramic transducers and some application of ceramic transducers as tweeters and sounders. First, I would like to show you structure of this. Inside that, you can see a glittering element and that is a part of the ceramic transducer. You have a smaller one and the bigger one. You have the microphone element, the ceramic transducer, the bare one. You have here the tweeter and the sounder for an electronic circuits. With the help of an analog tester, I would like to show to you how to check the condition of a ceramic transducer. I'm setting my meter to 100K to check the condition of this transducer. Of course, these are new, but we will try to check what we can get or what reading it would display with the use of analog meter. No movement. I'm going to reverse the test probe. Oh, it's off. Let's roll. Okay. There is a sudden abrupt reflection on the meter. I'm reversing the polarity. I would apply it now. Observe the meter. Okay, there is a movement on the meter. Just like testing a capacitor. We will go to the bigger one. Okay, oh. reverse. Oh. So you will notice that the deflection of a bigger one is much higher compared to this one. And here we will try to check on this. Whoop. Oh. It seems that this one is damaged. Okay. Then we have here a tweeter. Observe the sound. I'll be re re channeling my setting to the R times 1. You see? There is a click that you can hear. I don't know if you can hear that, but there is a click. Now we will proceed to this one. This is a memory chip connected to a buzzer made of a ceramic transducer. I'm going to make use of the 3 volts power of analog better and apply that to this one. Try to observe what will happen. Hopefully it will sound. Oops. Ok, 
again. Okay, another application of a ceramic transducers can be found in a drum set. What we call an electronic drum set. Okay, um, I have with me here a sample of that. An electronic drum set. If you try to take a look on the front. Okay. So here, at the back, I'm going to reverse. There are connections here for the ceramic transducer. Okay, that's all for this demonstration.